On the day before Christmas, the President, Mrs. Johnson, and daughter Linda flew to Kelly Air Force Base. Due to arrive within moments were combat wounded veterans of Vietnam heading for military hospitals in the San Antonio area. The President took the occasion to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And we can assure every man who wears our uniform that their cause is a good cause, that the principles they stand for are sound principles, that the battle they are fighting deserves their bravery. It is a cause which deserves not only the bravery of our soldiers, but the patience and the fortitude of all of our citizens. It far outweighs the reluctance of men who exercise so well the right of dissent, but let others fight to protect them from those whose very philosophy is to do away with the right of dissent. On Christmas Eve, it was apparent that the dissenters would still dissent. The war in Vietnam would still go on. The State of the Union would still be unresolved, and the tax increase would still be up in the air. Momentarily, however, these problems would be put aside as the President and his family, as well as people all over the world, turned to celebrate this most joyous of holidays. <laughs>